Hey, welcome to the Orange Outdoor Channel. We're here in the kitchen. We're taking a look at two Shun knives. Now, Shun is a product of Kershaw, or that is to say that Kershaw and Shun are more a product of Kai. And I got these two knives as a wedding gift about three years ago. Um, I cook just about every single day, and I have used these two knives just about every single day. And I am saddened to say that I broke this guy. Um, but more on that later. Let's just do a quick overview first of the knives, what I think about them in general, and my opinions on them. Now the first feature of these knives that really drew me to them uh, well, it's twofold. First off is the knife itself. It is gorgeous. And you have this awesome Damascus steel and almost like a San Mai where you have Damascus and then the actual cutting edge is not Damascus. They are gorgeous knives. It's like a piece of art hanging up in your kitchen. Absolutely love the look of these knives and that's definitely what drew me towards these knives in the first place. Um, the second of that is that Kershaw, I grew up in Oregon, still live in Oregon, and I grew up very close to the Kershaw factory, and so I'm quite partial to Oregon-made knives. And there are a lot of great Oregon-made knives. Gerber, Kershaw, CRKT, Benchmade, Leatherman, I mean, the list goes on. There's excellent knife makers here in Oregon. On to the performance of these knives. They are excellent, excellent cutters. They slice through material like no other kitchen knife I've ever used. And really that has to do with the thinness of the blade. I mean, these knives are very, very thin, especially compared to other kitchen knives. And their cutting angle is something ridiculous, like 17 degrees, I think is what they say on their website. Very good cutting ability, especially from the smaller one. And the bigger one shares those same features. Now this is a plus and a minus. Now as a Sorry guys, my camera is somehow turning off. Um, but as a knife maker, you're always sacrificing a trait for another. You can have durability with a steep edge, or you can have cutting ability with a skinnier edge. And these knives totally favor the cutting ability and they sacrifice durability. Now, with a smaller knife like this, it's not that big of a deal because you're not applying a lot of force and leverage with a smaller knife like this. This is mainly a paring knife, you're not really getting behind it and putting on a lot of force. With a larger knife that has a longer moment arm and gives you more potential for leverage, you can put a decent amount of force behind this knife. And that is what I did and unfortunately I broke it. Now I don't think that I was abusing this knife. I don't think that I was misusing this knife in any way. Um, I, everything I did with this knife I've done with cheaper, more inexpensive knives that have held up just fine and what I was doing was I was splitting a chicken leg from the thigh and I was I bent the joint and I slipped this knife in between the joint and I pushed down i had done that with numerous other blades like this cheap Chinese German steel made in China knife uh, it's just a no-name cheap knife but it is way thicker the thicker stock and doesn't taper down to as thin and I've done that exact same motion with this knife. And I can see on this guy, that thin edge, for one, it rolled. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see the roll. It bent, and then it split like that. I was so disappointed. I absolutely love these knives. They cut so beautifully. And I broke. I went through Kershaw's warranty department. And this is the letter that they sent me back. Basically, thank you for taking the time. Our warranty is non-transferable, does not cover normal signs of wear, rust, damage, breakage due to improper use or maintenance. And the result of our evaluation is that we did not find a defect in material or in its construction, and it was your fault. <laughs> um, here's a 50% off MSRP of any current model shun. Um, basically, you're an idiot, you broke it, but since you're an idiot, we'll give you this 50% off. Oh, I was I was bummed. I was really hoping they'd fix the knife, especially because I was using it as the knife was and intended that I would expect any knife to be able to perform. This is a kitchen knife. This is a large chef's knife. I should be able to split a chicken joint and not fear for the blade's integrity, and that's exactly what happened. 
Um, now, as you might have seen earlier, I put on a reprofile, and the plan is to actually take a grinder uh, or a cutoff wheel and reprofile this, remove all this excess material, and cut it just shy of where that crack is. Now, the reason I did this shorten the overall length of the blade as opposed to shorten the overall width of the blade um, is because I'm not sure exactly how they heat treated these knives. And these knives are ridiculously thin, and I worry about when I go to reprofile it, one, what it'll do to this finish, and two, what that heat will do to any residual heat treat. Now, you can see, I was talking about that San Mai construction a little bit earlier, where you have Damascus here, and then right here, this metal's not the Damascus. I don't know what this steel is. It says it's VG10, but is only the cutting edge VG10? I don't know. And so I don't want to find out. I don't want to come down. You see, I could take off probably a half an inch of the width, keep the overall length, and then reprofile and grind it down. But like I said, I, just, I don't know what's going on. One, I don't know if I could keep it cold enough. Two, I don't know what type of steel that is underneath there, if it'll be sharpenable. I just don't know. So I'm going to play it safe, keep the existing cutting edge, and reduce the overall length of the knife. Um, then I'll end up with a very long-handled and short-bladed knife, but it will be a usable blade nonetheless. Now, I could use that 50% off coupon to rebuy this knife, but when you're talking about a $220 knife plus shipping, you're still talking of roughly $200, or I'm sorry, $130 all in for this knife. I don't really have $130 lying around to go purchase another knife when I have other knives that do the job. Um, so the plan is to just, unfortunately, not use the coupon code and reprofile the knife, and I will make myself a larger knife that is less on the side of thin, more on the side of thicker for a larger blade, um, then that's what I'm going to do. I really wish that this is a shun knife, that the coupon code would also work for other Kai branded knives, um, such as this Wasabi brand from Kai. These knives, I feel, are just about the best value today in knife you, you can get. Now. The handle on this, I think, is really where, definitely the steel, because it's just, it's just stainless steel. Um, but I think really the handles where they did most of their money, cost savings on this, it is, it's pretty chintzy. It's plastic, it, it's got a seam that you can see. Um, it's, it's not a pretty handle, but it does the job, completely functional. It looks fine from a distance, and you can see that the taper on this knife is not even remotely as thin. You see how thick that stock is? And then from there, they did a much thicker secondary bevel on this knife, reducing in a much stronger edge, while still being, I think, exceptionally sharp. Cuts through bread. This is like my bread knife. I'm usually not a fan of serrated knives, but for a bread knife, I really like the serrations, and this knife does excellently in that department. So overall, Shun knives, excellent, excellent quality. Um, but right tool for the right job is kind of the saying I have to go with these knives. This is an excellent veggie chopper, fruit, um, meat that has no bones in it, I guess. It did really well um, on those departments. Uh, if there's a bone in anywhere near where you're cutting, I would keep this knife away from it. Honestly, how fragile. I'm not, I, you know, I didn't whack at that, that joint. I had the tip down and I just did a downward motion like that. And I'm a bigger guy, I can put some weight behind it, but at the same time, I feel like I shouldn't have been able to break that knife in the way that I did. Right tool for the right job. If you're just cutting vegetables, excellent knife, gets you lots of blade to play around with. If you're going to go for some more meat-oriented departments, like a boning knife, um, definitely would steer towards something a little bit more durable, uh, maybe not the shun line, if all the shun knives have this same taper which I think that they do. Great quality, excellent cutters, not the most durable blades as I unfortunately found out. Well guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Hey, welcome to the Orange Outdoor channel. We're here in the kitchen. We're taking a look at two Shun knives. Now, Shun is a product of Kershaw, or that is to say that Kershaw and Shun are more a product of Kai. And I got these two knives as a wedding gift about three years ago. Um, I cook just about every single day, 
and I've used these two knives just about every single day and I am saddened to say that I broke this guy. Um, but more on that later. Let's just do a quick overview first of the knives, what I think about them in general, and my opinions on them. Now the first feature of these knives that really grew me to them uh, well, it's twofold. First off is the knife itself. It is gorgeous. And you have this awesome Damascus steel and almost like a San Mai where you have Damascus and then the actual cutting. 